Hello friends, welcome back to Digitalk and in this session, I will show you how you can create a free Linux machine on Amazon AWS cloud. Okay, so let us begin with that. So first you have to go to the aws.amazon.com. Okay, and once you are there, you have to click on the sign in to the console. Okay, so after that, if you do not have a free account, okay, then you can create a new AWS account with the help of this option, right? So once you will click on this one, you have to provide some of your basic valid details like your phone number, your email ID, along with your address, right? And after that, well, you have to provide your credit card or your debit card details as well. That is just for the validation purpose. So once your account will be created, it will detect only few amount of rupees from your account. For example, if I talk about an INR, it could be around two or three or five rupees. Okay, only that is just for the validation purpose. So once your account is created, then there are a lot of free services available on the AWS cloud. Okay, that you can use for own of your uh, testing purpose. Okay, without any payment okay even if you go for some higher configurations which is not inside the free tier for that you have to pay a bare minimum amount of uh, amount only okay and other other beauty is suppose if you are creating a higher configuration machine for the linux for like you want to install certain kind of a software for your own testing purpose then you can create a higher con high configuration machines okay and you have to pay only for the period till their machine up and running that means if you are doing the testing in a day for three four hours then you can bring up your machine for three to four hours okay and for that you can bring down your machine so for you have to pay only for the period your machine were up and running and that amount would also be very less okay so it is a bit easy in comparison with two you have to uh format your personal laptop or desktop or pcs where you have to install multiple operating systems in parallel or maybe you are installing some virtualization software on top of that you are creating virtual machine then you are installing the operating system for your own testing purpose okay and another drawback of that is you have a dependency on a particular laptop or desktop for that right but if, when you create a machine on the aws that machine you can access from anywhere with the help of public ip and you can do your work from anywhere okay so once you will uh, your account is created okay so if you are not very clear, it's a very simple process but i have posted a video on that as well you can go to my channel and search for to how to sign up for the amazon uh, free account free tier account okay it's hardly a five to ten minute of steps so once your account is ready you have to log in here come back here again and then click on the root user name okay this is the main root user click on next after that you have to provide the password for your account right so once you have given your username and password okay then you will be landed in the main page or you can say the main dashboard of your aws account okay so this is the main dashboard of your amazon aws cloud okay and then you will hear you, you can see a lot of links are there okay along with a lot of services okay so this is the recent visited services that means whatever the services i am using frequently in my aws that will be displayed here okay so when we talk about the virtual machines in aws okay that is categorized under the ec2 elastic cloud 2 okay where we always say about ec2 machines so if, if you are talking saying that ec2 machine that means it is a aws virtual machine so either you can click here if it is showing in the recently visited if it is not then click on this option and here you can click on ec2 okay so once you are in the ec2 dashboard that means this dashboard is specifically for your instances that means for your machines okay so here you will see a lot of options like instances that is your virtual machines type of instances template spot request so there are a lot of options are there that is a bit advanced option and maybe cover with the time but as of now our purpose is to create a ec2 virtual machine with the red hat linux operating system right for that you have to click on the instances okay so once you will click on the instances it will display all of your instances those are already created there and with the status so you can say i have four virtual machines as of now and the status is stopped and this is how i worked okay whenever i go for some testing kind of a purpose for demo okay i bring up the machines and then i stopped it okay so i have to pay a very bare minimum amount okay for the duration my machine was up and running right so now what we are going to do here is we are going to create a new virtual machine so for that you have to click on the launch instances okay so once you will click on the launch instances okay then first is you have to provide the name okay so let me give it name 
the demo vm okay so this is the name for your virtual machine which will be usable inside your ec2 dashboard right second option is you have to provide the os image that means which os you would like to install in this particular operating in this particular sorry hardware host or server right so there are a lot of images are there aws linux mac os ubuntu windows red hat okay there are a lot of images that you can search from the browse as well okay so let me select the red hat because i would like to go with the installation of the red hat linux operating system in my this machine right after that you have to select the kind of a configurations you need in your virtual machine specifically when we talk about the ram and the processor power that you need for your machine operating system right so this is you can see that this is a free tier eligible okay so whenever you have a free tier services it will be displayed here like this free tier eligible okay so this is the free tier eligible services which is <coughs> available that means you have the option to use the red hat linux okay and as a free tier okay that is free for one year okay and then you have to select the architecture of your machine we have taken the default which is a 64 bit right and then you have to select the instance type <coughs> sorry so this is again the main configuration where you have to specify the configuration of your instances okay and then the rate of that particular instance okay so this is a free tier eligible service okay and then the free tier means if i talk about this is t2.micro okay so what configuration it, it give it give the one virtual cpu along with one gb of memory so this is sufficient if you want to do a hands-on on the commands of a linux you wanted to make your expertise on the linux operating system where you want to execute different type of command and testing of different type of scripts right so for that it is perfect okay you can create this particular uh, instance type which is t2.macro and free which is free for to use for the throughout the year and then you can do your lot of testings for the linux okay and even if you wanted to install the web logic or any other software we where you may need that t2 dot small or t2 dot medium or large machine with 4 gb 8 gb of memory then you can see the rate card of this as well it is provided here as well and you can search in the internet as well and then you can do a calculation okay so it will be very less of amount of you have to pay for that as well okay and then keep here that means how you would like to log into your ec2 machine okay so the default process is you have to have a private and public key pair okay so you can use your private key for login to your machines when you will access with the help of any ssh client okay so if you have created then you can select any of your machine if you haven't create any then click on create new key pair okay and then yeah here you have to give the name of your key pair let me give as a uh, demo key pair okay this is my demo key pair is the name of my key pair and i am selecting as an rsa and i am selecting the ppk as the format okay so if you will select the ppk format then you can access it with the help of putty y if you will go with the pem okay then you have to convert this pem to your ppk so it's good to select the ppk format only so that you can directly log in with the putty y ssh client okay now click on create key pair okay now you can see that this file is downloaded in your system demo key pair right so let me take this file okay and copy in my next okay so now i think it is not copied let me go back if it is the same okay i have taken it but it is not displaying here or okay this one right this is demo key this is the key right this is which i am going to use to log into my machine right so i have created my key pair now for network settings uh for a bit advanced configurations you may need a certain kind of a basic knowledge of networking okay and i have posted few videos of the aws on networking as well which is as of now which is in hindi only okay and very soon i will post the english version as well or even you can go to youtube and then you will get certain good videos where you can understand the basics of networking in the aws but if you are a beginner and you are not aware about the network settings then you don't need to worry about that one because aws pro provide the default settings for network network settings okay so that means you don't need to worry about the networking you just go with select the default options whatever are this showing there 
okay so here it will create automatically create a network for you uh, inside that it will be create a subnet automatically take the subnet it will automatically assign the ip address to your machines okay and there are a lot of security groups in inside the cloud for security purpose for in and out of the traffic from your cloud machines okay and then the default setting for the security group is allow ssh traffic from anywhere right so that means if you would like to connect to your machine with the help of ssh protocol okay outside the cloud that means if suppose you want to connect your machine with the help of ssh from your machine your pc or laptop right for that you have to allow the traffic okay so by default go with that one allow ssh traffic and if you have you are going to deploy certain kind of a web applications which will be accessible with the help of https or http over the web okay for that you have to select this option as well allow https traffic from the internet and then allow http traffic from the internet okay this is only for if you are going to build some static content or website on your ec2 machines okay if you would like to connect only with the ssh then go with the default option so i am taking all three okay and the last option is the storage so under the free tier 10 uh, this 30 gb till 30 gb of attached storage is you are eligible for under the free tier so i'm going with the 10 gb okay which is sufficient for testing purpose okay and let me again make it 10 and then there is advanced configuration that is really not required for you as of now okay let me recap what exactly we have done here we have given the name for our virtual machine which is demo vm then we have selected the os which is red hat linux and then we have selected the image which is again the same red hat linux and then architecture of your machine 64 bit and the instance type t2 micro which will come with one gb of memory and one cpu one virtual cpu then i have selected the created a demo key pair for login to my ec2 machine then for network setting i have selected all the default options and then i have also selected the allow https traffic from the internet and allow http traffic from the internet storage i have taken the default 10 gb and that's all this is the whole thing that is required for the configurations of a virtual machine here you can see the summary on the right hand side and then you have to click on the launch instances okay it will take few fractions of second okay and then you can see this successfully initiated launch of instance that means the creation of your instance is started okay now you scroll down and click on the view all instances here or again you have an option you can directly go to the ec2 dashboard from here as well okay and then you can click on your instances okay now you can see that i have a lot of machines are already there okay and then the machine that we have created it will be displayed here in some time in a couple of seconds okay within a minute of time let me refresh my screen okay sometime it is happened that it will not display for a couple of seconds that is because of your network connections or it depends on a lot of factors okay and that's the reason it's not displayed here for many times okay and let me refresh so take some time and then refresh your windows and after some time you can see your instance will be displayed there so let me refresh my windows okay so now here you can see that this is your demo vm which is running now okay how much time it, it took around one or two minutes okay so if you compare now it with your on-premise system where you suppose you need an uh, linux operating system so what are the options for that first you will think about do a partition in your lo local laptop or pc uh, to have a windows as well as for your uh, linux operating system as well or maybe you will format your windows machine and you will create a single dedicated linux machine or you may have option where you will install certain hyper type 2 kind of a hypervisor softwares on top of that you are going to download the os linux machine and then you are going to install and create that one so you can think about that what is the how complex that process is right instead of that if you directly go to the aws console and if you create a virtual machine that had a linux virtual machine it is going to take a fraction of seconds right so hardly a five to ten minutes of time for create a free account on aws and then go to ec2 instance ec2 dashboard and then to create a virtual machine you have to select few parameters that is going to again again 10 minutes of time 
so hardly within a 25 minutes of time your machine will be up and running okay so now how to access this machine okay the first time how you are going to access this machine once you click on your machine here you can see the different parameters of your machine details security networking storage status monitoring tags etc here you can say the public ip address okay so by default there would be a public and private address for your machine so private ip will be static it is not going to change but this public ip whenever you are going to stop and start your server this is going to be changed that is you have to make sure okay so every time you shut down your machine and bring up the machines you have to select the new public ip and then with the help of that you can access your virtual machine so let me copy this one i have copied this one and let me go back to my tool so this is the putty y tool where i have given the public ip and because i am going to use authentication with the help of keys so i will select the authorization and credentials which is inside ssh and inside the private key authentication i am going to select my demo key this is the same key that i have created during the creation of my machine and now i will click on open select accept and then the default user to connect your ec2 machine is ec2 hyphen user okay you have to make sure the username is ec2 hyphen user and the password will be from with the help of my authentication key that i have created during the machine creation so now you can see that i am there on the machine Linux machine right and then you can run the different command here okay to check the status of your machine and then if you wanted to do some hands on the linux command you want to work on the scripting then this 1 gb filter machine is more than sufficient you for you for testing purpose right so thanks for watching this video and in the second video we will see how we can download the weblogic on linux machine and then how we can install and create the weblogic domain on the linux machines thanks for watching this video